All right, I'm gonna show you how to use the firefighter swipe tool on an inward opening door. You'll notice this one does not have the notch cut. The one with the notch cut is the in and out firefighter swipe tool, which works on both inwards and outwards opening doors. So I'm gonna show you how this works now. So right here we have a door, opens inward. Here's the molding that you would have and there's weather stripping on the inside. So the first thing you wanna do is pull the door nice and tight towards you. I'll explain when we're on the other side of the door why you do that. So now you just insert the swipe tool right above the lock, push it in. So I'm just pushing it back right above the lock. Now I go on a 45 degree angle. Now you see this is locked. I pull the door towards me and then I just push the swipe tool right through the lock. So now I just push the door right in. So once again, pull the door towards you, insert the swipe tool right above it. Go down on an angle, pull the door towards you, and you just push it through. And the door opens right up. Okay, so now I'm just gonna switch the door around so you see what I'm talking about. All right, now we're on the other side of the door. So right here is called the anti loiting pin. That sits on the strike plate and that makes this not able to go in. So what happens is all doors have weather stripping. All exterior home doors have weather stripping. When you compress the weather stripping by pulling the door closed tight, the anti loiting pin actually falls within the strike plate. It's a, it's a fault that all these locks out of the store have. So when the door is shut normally, you can see right here, when it's shut normally, the anti loiting pin is sitting on the strike plate. Then when you push the door in harder, the actual pin falls within the strike plate and now that whole lock, that whole security feature is bypassed. And then you would just use the swipe tool to push it and uh, the whole thing opens up.